How can you say that? I only meant... No! I have to find him. What's going on here? You're her. The one from the embassy. Please, you have to go after my father. He's going to get himself killed in the stand of the Sentinels. The forest beyond the village. Everyone else seems to have forgotten that we don't abandon our own. Venera? If you're gonna drag the Outlander into this, at least tell her the whole story. Garoka gave her that stab wound. It was an accident. How did your father accidentally stab you? For a while now, he's been sneaking out of the village to hunt alone in the stand. Sometimes he's gone for days. So this time, I followed him to his hunting camp, tried to convince him to come home. Words led to fists, and somewhere in the middle of it all, his knife. He was already gone when I fell. You would have bled to death had I not come looking for you. It doesn't make any sense. The way he looked at me, it was like I was a stranger. Perhaps it's time to recognize... He's fine! He has to be. I can't make any promises, but I'll find him if I can. At least to see if he's all right. Where's his hunting camp? Southeast of here. Thank you. Glad that's settled. Now you need to rest. Honor and strength. Try it with your eyes open. Stand strong. Let none double. Amira said her father's hunting camp should be near here. The hunting camp. This must be where Fenira confronted her father. I might be able to pick up his trail with my focus. A jar of oil knocked over. Maybe when Garoka and Fenira were fighting. 
Some of the oil might have gotten on Garoka. Looks like there's a trail I can follow. Let's see where this leads. Strider. And a lot of traps. I must be Garoka. I better help him. Fight like you're Tanakh, but you're not one of us. State your name, Outlander. I'm Aloy. You must be Garoka. Venera asked me to find you. She's back in the village. She's recovering from a wound from your fight. Then she's in good hands. Come, we have to get moving. There's a squad deeper in the forest. They're about to walk into an ambush. By who? Rebels? That's what you want to call them. Spineless scabs. All the same, I could use your spear. What do you say? Fine. Where's the squad? This way. We'll make faster time if we cut through the Sentinels. How do you know about the attack? We've been watching enemy movements in the mountain pass. They've been trying to take our territory for years. This is just their latest attempt. Years? Rakala's rebellion isn't that old. Something's off here. I was so sure they were... Never mind. We have to get to the squad. Garoka's definitely not all there. This isn't looking good.
We're almost there. J Squad, we're. What? No! An old memorial for fallen soldiers. I think we're a lot more than too late. Garoka. Who are you, Outlander? How do you know my name? I'm Aloy. Fenira asked me to find you. I'm guessing you don't remember what happened. I went away again, didn't I? Why are we here? You told me there was a squad. I was about to be attacked. This is where it happened, isn't it? A long time ago. Yes. My squad. The Sky Clan ambushed us, slaughtered them all. It would have been. 30 years ago now. Fenira thinks you've been sneaking off into the forest to hunt. But you've been coming back here. There's no easy way to say this, Garoka. She's hurt. Bad. She tried to stop you from leaving. I hurt her? But I would never... No! Everything is... A fog. I feel like I've been wandering through it, lost, my blade unfamiliar in my hand. And when it finally clears, I can't remember what I was doing or why. I'm always just alone in the forest. How long has it been like this? This fog? Weeks, months maybe. At first I thought it was a passing thing. Like forgetting after a knock on the head. Then names and faces became... difficult. And I started finding myself in the forest, unsure how I got there. Why haven't you told Fenira? What was I supposed to say? That I'm unraveling like a frayed, weak rope? No! But look where that's gotten you. She has no idea why you hurt her. So the Sky Clan ambushed your squad a long time ago? We were almost through with our patrol. About to head back to the village when they swarmed us. I alone survived. When my wounds scarred, I returned here and built a memorial where my comrades fell. And then I struck down twice as many of their soldiers in retribution. Such were the clan wars. Earlier, you said the enemy had been trying to take the Lowland Territory for years. I guess that was during the Clan Wars? Before Hikaru became our chief, our clans were constantly at war. We fought over every inch of this forest. The ruined village nearby is a remnant of those days. No matter how many soldiers fell, there was always another vendetta to pursue. They say that's why the wood of the Sentinels runs red. Where the generations of blood spilled. We should head back to the village. Wait. The memorial. It's missing a piece there. A marker of metal, made from the blades of my fallen comrades. Where is it? It has to be around here somewhere. I have to find it. I know it's... I know it's here. Hey, calm down. Let me take a look. Okay. I should scan the memorial with my focus. Tracks... leading away from the memorial. Lead the way. Clamber jaws! They might have scrapped the marker. Filthy scavengers. On your lead.
Clamor Find the marker. Might be in one of the Clamberjaw scrap piles. I'll stand watch in case normal teams show up. No marker here. Check it on the scrap pile. Check another scrap pile for the marker. Got the marker. Now I give this back to Goroka.
Here. I think this is the missing marker. Yes, that's it. I'll return it to the memorial. You go on ahead. I want to spend some time to remember my comrades. Are you sure? I'll be fine. The fog is gone for now. All right. I'll head back to the village and let Fenira know you're okay. Thank you, Lee. Well, at least I can tell Fenira why Garoka's been running off. Back to Tide's Rage, then. Father. Aloy, you're back. But where's my father? It's okay. I found him. He's not deranged, Fenira. He's been forgetting things more and more. He thought he was still in the clan wars, that he could save his squad from an ambush. When we got to the memorial, he came back to the present. Said it's like he's been lost in a fog. Wait. I've heard of something similar, a rare occurrence among chaplains. Their memory fades with the long years. Garoka's not a chaplain, but he is the age of one. Before Hikaru became chief, few of us would live to be so old. So that's why. Oh, thank the Ten. If he was found to be insane, then by rights he'd be put to death. What? No, he's just getting old. He needs care, not a death sentence. Pretty sure the rest of the village sees that as one and the same. But we'll keep a close eye on him. Speaking of, where is he now? Here. Little spear. I... I'm so sorry. comes, I'll hold your hand tight and remember for you. You don't have to be afraid. Thank you for your help. Please, accept this. Your deeds here, what you've done for Fenira, will always, always be remembered. Thank you, Aloy. Aloy? Yes, Aloy. I wonder who those Tanakhs are keeping watch for. Thank you again, Aloy. Without you, I never would have known the truth about my father. Given the fact that you've never set foot on a boat, is a guess. Won't you risk another raid on the Who are these raiders you're talking about? Some of Regala's supporters were hunted down near here. Most fought to the death. But one of them had other ideas. They escaped pursuit and raided Tide's Reach. They were last seen out to sea to the west. Raiders escaped out to sea? We think that's why they raided the settlement. They built a, a flat boat. Bits of wood tied together. A uh, raft. I wouldn't want to go to sea on one. But it seems that was the raiders' plan. Slaughter our sleeping guards, steal supplies, and sail straight west. Are you worried they might come back? The supplies they stole won't last forever, and they were prepared to gut our guards to get them. People give them justice. That won't happen until those fugitives are found. Fly out to sea to search for those raiders. Water feels like it's about to freeze over. Yes. 
Sentry said the raft was heading west. On raft in ocean. Should be easy to find. Wreckage. To the left. Maybe those fugitives didn't make it too far after all. I'll only find out if I go down. There's someone down in the left yard. You're one of the raiders who attacked Tide's Reach? Where are the others? Holed up on top of the tower across the sea to the west. Where I left them. I thought that they were true Tanakh, but they're murderers, not soldiers. The Tanakh, the Tide's Reach, think you should all face justice. Then they should come and get me themselves. If you want justice, then find the others. Leave me here to face the sea. My last battle. Why did you abandon the other raiders? They abandoned the cause. They seek carnage, not honor. You think the attack on Tide's Reach was honorable? I wanted to face the guards in battle. But the others murdered them in their sleep. The rebellion is over, you know. So you say. I say there will always be those who want the Tanakhs to be true to themselves. Leave me. You'll find the others on the tower if you keep going to the west. Find your justice there. There. Someone's lit a fire. It must be the raiders who attacked Tide's Reach. So those fugitives are the tower to the west. If they're close to landfall, they could be a threat to the Quinn. I better take care of them. These fugitives escape. <laughs> oh, there's definitely movement down there. What's Nora doing here? That's the last of them. Those raiders won't be attacking Tide's Beach again. Or anyone else. for the stash. Is this all their supplies? Whatever they stole, they've used or lost most of it. I might as well take what's here.
Machines are gone. You can come up. doing trapped under a bridge Th there were wide maws they smashed our boat and then we were so busy escaping them that we ran into these machines and I I slipped and fell it's dangerous out here I know but Tsunare wanted to go on we hadn't found any relics in the places the diviners told us to search he, he wanted promotion he he insisted we try here. He was right. We, we found a relic with some data on it, but then the Wide Maws found us. They, they smashed our boat, and I dropped the relic into the waters when we ran. I'm sorry about your friend. Yes. I can't even mark his death by taking the relic back to landfall. Where did you drop this relic? Down there. To the southwest, in the plaza with the statue on the column. Go back to landfall. We'll see if I can find it. Those Quan risked everything for that relic. It doesn't sound like it's too far from here. There. An old world ghost recording. I must be the one with the console they brought. Point nine on our hollow tour of San Francisco, the Dewey Monument. Recently returned to Union Square, this 85-foot column celebrates the American naval victory at Manila Bay. When their force of outdated vessels, in the Philippines, many of the Spanish sailors must have known they faced a hopeless task. Driven by duty, but poorly led, the Spanish fleet, wrong place, at the wrong time and was destroyed by a technologically superior force. The old world had been defeated by the new. Search for the soldier I saved on the bridge. Living ancestor, thank you so much. You saved my life. I found the relic you lost. Here. I hope you find something useful on this relic. I'll take it to the diviners. They'll record the data along with Tsunari's name. He'd have liked that. A living ancestor. Can you tell me what the relic is? It's a recording. The history of the place where you found it, and... a warning that you should choose your battles carefully. I wish Sonori had lived to hear it. I will heed its words. Thank you, living ancestor. It's good to see you. How are things going? We fixed it. The gyro compass set it up on one of our ships just now. She did it so quickly. Oh. <laughs> what? I just realized I'm gonna get the biggest I told you so when I get home. And I can't wait to hear me Andrew yell it in my face. Sounds like a good time. <sighs> All thanks to you, Aloy. They're saying you are criticizing our leaders. Is this easy? Please. 
full strike is going to the bottom. She who flies. Good to see you. Is she sick? <laughs> it's Aloy, isn't it? Walk with me. I am Ateka, commander of the Lowland clan. The girl, Zella, was poisoned by the blood choke. For months, it has polluted our waters, depriving us of food and clean drink. We've learned to live with it as best we can. But recently, without explanation, the filth cleared from much of the lowland. Yet one river still runs red, like a split vein from a rotted corpse. So the water here is still poisoned? Exactly. I sent my best squad to find its source, led by Zella's mother. <sighs> they failed to report back. I think I might have been to the source, but I didn't see a squad there. Hikaro told me how you challenged Regala. Saved his life. So lend me your strength. Together we can find my squad and the source of the poison. Sounds like you know Hikaro pretty well. He was my commander before he was my chief. I had served in his squad since we were bare-armed youths. Back then, he was a merciless warlord, determined to destroy any enemy of the Lowland clan. I was with him the day he took the grove, stood guard outside as he claimed the throne within. He entered a conqueror, but returned with the ambition of ending the constant bloodshed between the clans. Because he saw Faraday's message. Yes. That vision changed him, gave him new purpose. He became our first chief, ruler of all Tanakh, and dedicated the tribe to fighting machines instead of each other. If you're so close with Hikaru, why aren't you a marshal? I wanted to serve as one, but Hikaru needed someone he could trust to lead his former clan. Maintaining control of the desert and sky clans is difficult enough for him. But the title wasn't handed to me. I fought for the honor as our rights demand. Five days of scars and blood. By the last sunset, I stood alone. The new commander. Close to 20 years have passed since. This blood choke. Is that what you call the red algae? Yes. A couple years ago, it was only a thin streak of red in the river. It grew over time, until it was a constant poison. It sickens those who drink the polluted water, kill the fish we used to catch. But a while ago, unexplainably, the rivers began to clear, all except for one. Because of it, my people continue to waste away, weakening the clan. I'll help you find your missing squad. Good. I'm heading out now. The longer the blood choke remains, the longer my people suffer. We'll follow the Red River. The squad would have done the same. Might be able to pick up some sign of them. You ready? Let's head out. We'll start at the mouth of the Red River. This way. For months, I watched as the strongest warrior and the smallest child alike fell ill from the blood choke. When the other rivers cleared, it seemed like the tide had finally turned. I see those hopes dashed. Hey, we'll get to the bottom of this. We must. There's the mouth of the river. 
we follow it upstream, we find the source of the poison. And hopefully, the squad. I'll follow your lead. Whoever brought down this machine was precise. Must have been the missing squad. They struck true as the town. Machines couldn't have been brought down easily. There's blood. Someone barely walked away from this fight. The squad must have pushed on. Let's go up the river. Sounds like fighting. The squad could be in trouble. Tanak soldiers. That's the squad. We have to bring those machines down. Gather round. Commander, and the Chief's champion. Your help came just in time. Aloy, good fighting. Hateka, these weren't ordinary machines. They were overridden by rebels. Regala. Even defeated, her influence remains. How did this start? We fought our way up the river to here. And then... We found that. We advanced to investigate. We had just started the climb when these machines attacked. 
seemed like they were on patrol. I've been up there. The rebels have a camp. And a big machine. Then we have to root them out. Rest. And then head back to Thornmarsh. Little Zella is waiting for you. Aloy and I will take it from here. Yes, Commander. It won't be an easy fight up there. Nothing you and I can't handle. You with me? Let's find a way up. On your lead, Aloy. Up this way. I'll wait here. It looks like we'll have to climb up the falls. Right through the blood choke. Let's do it. <sighs> this water smells like rot. Try living with it. my hands. Just don't let go. Don't have to tell me twice. Oh, I hope this holds. So many dead machines. How? I think we're clear. We're gonna have to fight that thing, aren't we? Probably. Thought the Lowlanders would have come looking for this place by now. I guess the word poison's made them weak. Another day in the rebellion. Whoa!
Ten fought to the last. Let the lowlanders come. The fire will burn them all. This is another excuse to ditch your duties. Done here. Pull yourself together. Don't let anything get by. Nothing out of the ordinary so far. If I have more luck that way. You shouldn't have dragged me out here. open. They might return.
That's the last one. What's this? What were the rebels doing here? Let's find out. Have a look around. I thought I saw something over by the dam. I'll go check it out. Aloy! Over here, come look at this. It's a machine lore. Well, that explains all these machines. But why put it here? My focus might show me more. Machine scrap and broken corruptor components. Used for overrides. Are the rebels testing them here? So all these dead machines are what? Failures? Maybe. The rebels had a large operation here. There has to be something else that'll tell us what was going on. I thought I saw some equipment over by the falls. I saw some equipment on the cliffs near the falls. It's a message from one of the sons of Prometheus. It says the rebels were about to leave, but decided to guard the dam after the water started to clear. We saw an opportunity and seized it. For this thing could do a lot of damage. There's one of these at the grove in the arena. Put down machines. I think I know what happened. The rebels were luring machines here so they could override them. But they couldn't get them all. So they killed some with the ballista, forming the dam. Once they realized it was blocking clean water from flushing away the blood choke, they decided to stay and protect it. Spineless cowards, poisoning us until we waste away. The dam. Can you break it? I'll take a look. Okay, I'll wait here. I should scan the dam. That'd show me a weak point. There's an explosive sack from a machine inside the dam. One hit could blow the whole thing up. I just need to find a way to expose it.
There's the sack. It's gonna take a powerful shot to blow it up. I can't do both at once. The ballista. Ateka, can you fire a bolt from the ballista while I hold this thing open? I'm on it. Ready when you are. Let's hope this works. This works. Hold it! We did it. Ateka? It's gone. After all this time, we're finally free of the poisoned waters. Thank you, Aloy. I must return to Thornmarsh. Meet me there when you can. You deserve a proper reward. There's Thornmarsh. The rebels must have been spying on them. Might be a nice glide down. Looks like the water's cleared up around here. I should find a Tekka. You can rest your feet and breathe. I'm watching you. You're walking tall. If you walk by, you'll miss out on a good trade. Remember the I was just recounting your deeds at the dam. Our deeds. We did it together. True enough. Look around. Thornmarsh is free of the blood chunk. We don't have to live in fear of the poison. It feels like for the first time in months, we can wash our wounds with clean water. And how are you feeling, Zella? Ready to hunt. <laughs> Not yet, mm -hmm. little warrior. I promised you a reward equal to your deeds. I cannot think of anything more fitting than this. Thank you. Wherever your travels take you, Aloy, may you always fly on the wings of the ten. With our troubles eased, the Lowland clan can stand strong behind Hakara. You left Ma's lockbox behind? I didn't expect a rock breaker to go attacking caravans. Besides, it got the lock open, didn't it? I don't know. Steel flame! Look what the desert winds blew in! Ah, I'm standing right here, Porgy. Stop calling me that. Not again. You used to love that name. Back on the Porgy's trail lucky I came out Back west. This place needs a lot of work. Ha! <laughs> you should have seen when we first got here. It was just a puddle in the uh, sand. Well, this ain't much of an improvement. You really set things right around here, Steel Flame. Not impressed with those For the legs Dell at all. And with my sister. Less. Thanks. Thank you, Aloy. Steel flame! Look what the desert winds blew in! I'm standing right here, Porgy. Stop calling me that. You used to love that name. You and 